gurus they're going to tell you, you go you go through Facebook you go scroll through things you go comment on things friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the best way to grow your no like trust on Facebook and we're going to talk about what that is obviously but what this what's the best way I mean there's so many different things that are taught by online gurus and that's definitely not a bad thing to do what most of these to teach are pretty basic stuff and we're going to get into that kind of talk about the basics of growing your know like trust and what is the know like trust and we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so knowing you're growing your no like trust is not a rocket science thing it's pretty simple it's pretty basic but it's how you use your time to be more efficient and if you have a course to sell you definitely need to grow that you need to grow your no like trust and your no like trust is basically the level at which somebody is to potentially buy your stuff so your course or anything else we're going to get more into that but before I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the uh, blog post at cis410 that's right 410 cis410.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and kind of show you a little bit more about this all right so let's get right to it so actually I'm going to go share my screen and I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about what is the no like trust factor right so gurus they're going to tell you, you go you go through Facebook you go scroll through things you go comment on things you go engage on things you go post you got to post every day you got to engage on stuff you got to reply to people's comments you got to do stories you got to do this you got to have conversations all these things you got to do all these things right but doing all these things is great and it's important to do and the only thing is that what is the um best way to grow it right I mean okay you can post every single day you can comment on everything you can comment on people's stuff in the news feed where right? you can go through the news feed here you can engage on these posts like I do that right like uh, an Andrea here I'm gonna engage on this I'm gonna say you know this is great great picture I'm just gonna say great picture because I I don't really normally what you want to do is you want to actually go and comment on whatever they're they're posting about right that's definitely one of the things that you need to be doing if you're and and before maybe before we get into that let's talk about what is the no like trust factor what is that what is that right so the no like trust factor is basically the percentage of people that you engage with say say you were engaged to 100 people right and when I say engage I mean you know commenting on their stuff or sending them a message or or replying to a comment on your stuff that's engaging all right engaging just means you know having some sort of interaction with them it can be a conversation too but here's the thing out of those 100 okay out of those 100 how many of them know you how many of them like you and how many of them trust you right so it's very uh, very very well how can I put it simple how many know you is always going to be more than how many like you and how many like you is always going to be more than how many trust you because before somebody can know you they have to you know see you they have to be you know, seeing your posts they have to be comment they have to be seeing your comments and that's kind of the secret right the secret is for them to know you you have to be engaging on their stuff so that they see you they won't know you unless they see you they won't know you unless you post content they won't know you and like if I go to my page right to my profile on Facebook somebody who comes to my profile right they're going to know that I have a family they're going to know that I have 
um that I post things about uh the, these course income secrets uh posts right they're gonna know that my my daughters you know uh, dance they're gonna know that I have picked that I like flowers or that my redendras they're gonna know you know that I'm building this unreal thing right they're gonna know that I'm planting seeds they're gonna know these things that I'm that I invested into crypto they're gonna know that you know I'm I like nature they're gonna know that's you know how much I that it costs too much uh <laughs> anyways whatever people are gonna know they're gonna know who I am based on what I post and that's why it's important that you gotta post all the time you gotta be posting regularly and if you're not posting then people won't be able to know you that 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 that, that you can't and you can't get people to trust you and you can't get people to like you unless they know you right so that's the first thing they gotta know you they gotta know you so that's why you gotta be posting now you don't have to be posting every single day you don't have to be posting five times a day though that's not that's not the important part the important part is not posting all the time or every day it's posting regularly it could be twice a week and the other important thing is that you so here let me just kind of show you like when we look at what what leaders talk about right when we look at what leaders talk about they tell you that you got to define your avatar right so you, so let's just kind of go back to the basics here make sure we're clear on what what I'm talking about so first of all you got to define your avatar now what does that mean right defining your avatar means saying or you know writing down or kind of deciding because you know everybody thinks the same we all think that whatever we have to sell or whatever we're trying to promote is something that everybody could use and we're probably right right like especially with with a product that helps with health for example or or maybe you're you've got a course that talks about building an online business <laughs> well those things could be used by anybody right but the problem is that if you try to attract everybody you're going to attract no one because you're going to be too generic so you got to define your avatar so that you know what kind of stuff that person likes what kind of person what kind of stuff that person doesn't like what kind of stuff what kind of pain points do these have like is it is it somebody who suffered from you know physical abuse when they were a kid so those things that that's a very specific person right a specific kind of thing and you could actually uh, post things about that I, I have no idea about that because that's not me but so I wouldn't know what to post about that but l let's say somebody who likes gardening or somebody who who's a certain age that has grandkids well depending on those things that affects what you can post or what you should be posting about right like for me if I'm trying to attract um you know 60 year old people that are grandparents uh well I can post things that grandparents like you know posting like what I kind of post right my kids my grandkids uh stuff I do uh my 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 gardening or whatever I do outside the house those things are things that that age group is interested in right if a kid a, tw a 20 year old kid sees my posts about my family about my gardening about these things they might have no interest at all they might be like I, I don't want to do that they don't see that in 40 years from now right they're going to be doing that right they don't so if I wanted to attract 20 year olds I would have to probably post things about you know owning a Porsche or having a yacht or the kinds of things that kids at that age think they're going to get in five years right which you know some do obviously but most don't but in the end it doesn't matter because you are posting about what they are interested in what will attract them to want to see more of your stuff right so that's the first thing defining your avatar then you got to find where they congregate when and when we talk about Facebook right finding where they congregate is basically what groups will those people be in right so if I go to Facebook and I search for groups that have to do with uh you know making money online or that have to do with uh, being a good grandparent or have to do with how to how to build online marketing things whatever it is those are the groups that the people that I'm interested in in attracting are in so why do you need to do that because you want to be posting there or at least maybe engaging in some of their content that are posting there or at least finding them there and then going to their profile 
so you're going to be finding the people that are where they are so you find more of them right because you can't just I mean you can post you can post things that your avatar is going to be interested in and let Facebook kind of figure out how to show it to those people and eventually over time that kind of works but it takes a while uh it's better if you know where they are and you go find them and you go engage on their stuff and that also teaches Facebook kind of how to you know what else to show you so that you can you you can see that stuff and it's kind of like the whole algorithm you know the whole how does Facebook do it how does Facebook keep track how does Facebook know what you're interested in and who you who you want to reach out to right so Facebook kind of learns that and figures out how to show you more of those kinds of people but you need to help it by doing these actions so that Facebook learns from you but there's more to that but anyways we'll get into that in a, in a minute so now the third thing is I say post daily here right our gurus actually talk about posting daily but really it's not you don't have to post daily like I said it's more about being consistent than being daily being posting daily is an easy way to say post every day so you don't forget about it and every single day you post a little something it's easier than to say post two three times a week and then you're like you know some weeks you're going to post on Monday and Tuesday and then other weeks you're going to post on Friday and then and then and then the next Monday and then you're kind of all over the place so that's why we say post daily right even though you don't have to so if you don't post daily you might want to set yourself a, the a specific days that you post like post Monday and Thursday or post you know Saturday and Wednesday or whatever you want right or three three days a week Monday Thursday and Sunday or Saturday or whatever right you choose which days and also you can choose what content you post like you know you're going to post a family picture on the weekend you're going to post you know an online business thing on the Mondays or you're going to post a you know a result from a client of yours on the Wednesdays whatever right you can kind of choose because the kind of content you post also matters there's all sorts of training on that on you know what are the types of contents you should be posting you know when you talk about life content and results content and and uh, and and the quotes and there's all sorts of different uh, trainings on that too that you can probably find just by googling it but the point is you got to be consistent with your posting all right the next thing that's important is engaging on others posts so that's when I say go into groups go find their posts in groups or go find their profile then go to their profile and comment on their posts on their profile so you kind of do that so that Facebook learns who you're interested in and so that Facebook shows potentially your stuff to them in their feed and there's all these different things that happen when you do that right but you got to engage on other people's posts if you don't engage on other people's posts Facebook will see you as being a a lurker right somebody who just looks and watches but doesn't actually take action so when you're a lurker Facebook doesn't share your stuff as much that's why if you don't comment on other people's stuff you'll notice that as soon as you start doing that you're all of a sudden gonna have more comments on your stuff and it's not and this is the thing right people are like how why why am I not getting any comments don't people like my stuff well yeah but it's, Facebook isn't showing it to anybody if nobody sees it they're not going to comment on it people don't go around going to your profile right they don't they just go through the feed they look at the feed what's in the feed and what's in the feed is controlled by Facebook right Facebook decides what goes in the feed and how does it decide that it's algorithms algorithms reciprocity one of the one of the algorithms Facebook has is the reciprocity algorithm what that means is that you'll get what you put in so if you comment on people's stuff Facebook is going to share your stuff so you get comments on your stuff too it's kind of like a I mean it's just that's just how it works I mean it's not an exact science but it's approximate like that right all right so then the other thing is if you respond to people's comments on your posts so if somebody comments on your post you should be commenting back on whatever they say or at the very least you should be going to their page and commenting on one of your their posts because Facebook and even though Facebook will eventually show you their feed their posts in your feed uh depending on how busy you are how many friends you have and that kind of stuff it can change so it's always good to go straight to their profile and engage on their stuff right and then of course you want to have conversations without conversations there's an, almost never going to be a sale 
you have to have a conversation it's not about trying to sell them something it's having conversation about them they need to like and trust you before they'll buy from you and for them to like and trust you you have to have a conversation that shows that you care about them you care about their problems you care about their 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 wins right their their dreams whatever they want right so that's why it's important to engage on their stuff they start to learn now how do you accelerate this how do you make this even more amazing as to you know getting the right results I mean you could just go through Facebook right you could just go through Facebook let you go back to Facebook here you can just go through Facebook right and just comment and engage on the stuff that's in the feed right you could just let Facebook kind of control your what you see right you could do that you could just let Facebook show you the stuff and you just go and you just comment and engage on their stuff you can you can do that right and that kind of works takes a while takes a while but if you want to accelerate that if you want to accelerate how Facebook uh or how you grow your leads how you get more sales through Facebook how, like this topic of this of this episode is right the topic is what's the best way to grow your no like trust on Facebook so how how do you get people to trust you so that they'll buy from you right because before like I said before they buy from you they have to trust you so how do you get them to trust you so out of a hundred people that you talk to or that you say hey I've got this thing I thought you might be interested in because of whatever reason would would you be able to would you be willing to take a look at it right so that's that's your you know initial maybe sales pitch if you will right that the whole the whole thing about getting somebody to look at your because you know in any any like network marketing company right in any network marketing company they teach you that the most important thing is for you to get them in front of what they call the presentation right the opportun opportunity presentation now that's no different from any other sales because somebody did the work for you to have this amazing presentation that that sells most people that are there that's why network marketing companies use that you know get people to a room in a hotel or an online zoom or whatever get them there we will take care of selling them right and the reason why that is that's how it works is because the people that yeah like when you're starting out right you're trying to sell something you don't have the skills to you know overcome objections and, and 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 convince them or whatever else wording you want to use right you don't have those skills so you need to leverage somebody else who has those skills that's why you bring them over to the presentation if you're trying to sell a course or trying to sell a product or anything like that you you would normally have some sort of you know overview of the course or maybe a an explanation of the product and what it can give them or you know a sales page or whatever you want people to get to that right so how many how do you get people to trust you enough so that when you try to tell them about it and you ask them to come take a look how do you get you know 90 people out of 100 to trust you enough to go look at it just to go look at it if they trust you they'll go look at it so how do you get you know 90 out of 100 people to trust you I mean you could you could you could go to Facebook and just ask random people to come look at it and get one person out of 100 right and some people say well just keep doing that just talk to 100 people a day right which by the way Facebook won't let you do that it'll block you because you're you're doing stuff what's called spamming but if you could do it and if Facebook did not block you 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 would get sales if you talk to 100 people every single day to get them to your presentation you got one a day to your presentation right you would eventually make sales so you might get I don't know one in in 100 people that look at your sale to buy which would mean you'd have to talk to a thousand people to get one sale that's a lot of work <laughs> that's insane right isn't it crazy that would be way too much work for me I can tell you that so what I've done is I've I've how can I put it I've I well I built a tool right that lets you grow your no like trust factor the fastest way possible in a way that's 
that's kind of control uh, under your control right because like I said you could use Facebook you could be posting regularly you could be doing all these things and you could get people to eventually trust you by just because you know I've been doing online marketing for since 2015 right and there's definitely a ton of people in my friend list who know me enough that they would be willing to take a look at something if I just you know ask them to look and I've you know I've I've done that right but what about and and the thing is that you know after you've talked to them and they said no well what do you do next right are you going to bug them all the time no I mean there's the whole follow-up thing that we talk about as well right you got to have a follow-up but how do you get the initial look at something how do you how do you get to have a bunch more every single maybe day even right so you got to get new people you got to get new blood to get through that no like trust okay no the so just so you kind of just to kind of give you a um, um what's the word a, an order of magnitude right so if you get if you get 10 people to know you say you get 10 people to so okay sorry if, let's back up. to get somebody to know you they need to see you probably set so there there's a there's this concept called exposure that we talk about in sales so an, an exposure is basically seeing you right so seeing your product your ad your whatever but in the case of getting them to trust you and know you and like you and all that it's you it's not your product because you don't want to be posting about your product by the way you want to be posting about you and your life and things like that so if they see you every time they see you let's say that they have to see you 10 times it might be a little bit less a little bit more but for them to know you let's say it's 10 they have to see you 10 times to know you right so what does that mean seeing you it means seeing you in their notifications seeing seeing your post in their in their news feed seeing your comments on their posts uh seeing you in their seeing you in their stories that kind of stuff right so seeing you becomes knowing you so once they see you enough times they'll know you they'll be they'll go from I have no clue who that is to oh I've seen that guy or that girl uh in my feed I've seen them oh they they have a cat or they have this or they whatever they they start to know you right the next level is is liking you they 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 can't like you unless they know you right so they have to know you first <laughs> that's the secret they have to know you first but to get to the like phase they have to see you again I don't know if it's another 10 times or maybe it's more maybe it's less maybe it's just a, depending on what they see but if they see enough of you around stuff that they like they'll like you <laughs> imagine that they'll automatically like you if they see you enough and you and guess how you get people to like you you do things for them you do things for them isn't that crazy what if I told you that people that post on Facebook want people to see their stuff they want people to comment on their stuff they want people to react on their stuff mind blown right they post on Facebook they want people to see and like their stuff you comment and engage on their stuff they're pretty much automatically going to like you because you're doing stuff that they they're doing that on Facebook they're posting so obviously you don't want to just you know heart every single thing they do you don't want to just say awesome to everything they post you know you got to be you got to be smart about it you got to be you know commenting and reacting based on the post like if, if they post you know a picture of them in the hospital maybe you use the care reaction instead of the instead of just the like right um and the, and if they post a joke maybe you you use the laugh reaction right so I mean you do what makes sense for the post right so and this is how you get them to trust you if they like you if they see you doing things they like enough then they'll trust you to at least take a look at your thing <laughs> isn't it totally insane it's totally insane I know it's insane I I just like that's ridiculous it's ridiculous how simple it can be and you know what you can just use Facebook and just comment and engage and do this stuff directly with Facebook let Facebook do the algorithm thing but what if you could do it in a way that puts you in control 
and that's what this tool is about I just I'm you know obviously I'm not I'm not creating this post to just sell my tool or whatever there's a free trial but definitely something I've been using and I think that you could benefit from because you get to control and this is what I do okay so let's just uh let's just show you kind of what it looks like right so if I just go to this to my to, to my tool here and I just go to view data so it'll show me the data that I have done today okay over here you can kind of see these are the number of visits I do every single day see these are the visits per day 25 25 20 right on average 23 over the last 30 days and basically what that is is it's it's so what the tool does okay what the tool does is it goes to Facebook so you okay well yeah let's back up a little bit so what the tool does is it goes to these groups that you say your avatar is in see I have these groups that I put in here right so you put these groups you just paste it in here and add it right so you put these groups in here and then you tell it to start its data gathering the first time you run it it's it's it'll give you just a list of profiles of people that are active in groups right and this is kind of whoops sorry that was a tracking number there <laughs> lucky it's not a, a bad thing right anyway so this basically gives you a list of all the people that are actually posting and commenting on on in, in Facebook right so you get these these posts over here and you can see that some of these don't have profile pictures there's a there's a limit to how many profiles pictures we can gather that's why they're not all there but the thing is that once you have uh a, a person here you can actually go here and you can actually go to their page directly to their profile oh this person has no post so that's a great example this person has locked their profile so this is one of the things I do I just go back here I add a note here locked profile right so now I have I have a note that says that this person's profile is locked so next time I see them in the list I'm going to see that it says it's locked profile see right here it says locked profile so I know that I don't need to bother going back to them because I won't be able to engage on their stuff and you know you could send them a message still you could have a conversation with them but like I said if you haven't been engaging on their stuff and they haven't seen you and they haven't learned to know you and then possibly like you if you try to reach out to them now they're going to be in the one to one out of a hundred people that might reply right because they don't know who you are they can't like you because they don't know who you are and they obviously don't trust you so why would you waste your time trying to reach out to them right you could like I said it could be your one in a hundred option right so you could still reach out to them you have their link you have their profile and you have the post that they they, they reacted to right uh you know uh so you could go to the post itself that they reacted to and you could do that but like I said I just use this and now when I look at my list here if I just show you let's say the kind of list I use I just go and I say I want to see uh only without a note right and I also want to see like this and I'm going to sort it here by the by the visited the other way so basically I'm going to see see this is a minute ago yesterday yesterday two days ago two days ago whatever right so now I can actually go here and I can say okay I want then I want to have minimum days of six at least six days so that means that now I'm going to go to these profiles here that I visited six days ago and I so that way I can control who I visit who I engage on so that I know that they are people that I haven't engaged with in six days so I'm going to go look at the profile and I'm going to comment on some of their stuff they're going to see me all the time in their notifications and after a while and you could do that every day but the problem is that lots of people don't post every day so you're kind of wasting your time if you go every day but if you know that they're posting daily then you can maybe add yourself a note saying they're posting daily and use that or whatever right uh but that this is the thing the tool lets you do that now once you've had these people see if I now if I go back here let's just clear all my filters now if I go back here I can say okay I want to see the people that I've visited the most so I'm going to sort them by the v here which is the visited 
and the reverse I should I probably make the search go the other way because I'm always doing the reverse <laughs> so this one here says I visit her 21 times 19 times 18 times 18 times 17 15 15 and as you can see the lead the temperature is hot uh that's just me setting them to hot because I know that they're either people that have known me from before or I know that I've visited them lots of times so I can actually go to those people and, and send them a message saying hey I've got this thing I'd like you to take a look at um I I know that or whatever right I mean the wording of how you reach out that's up to you I I'm this is not part of the training that I'm doing now but whatever you do the chances are because I visit them so many times they certainly have seen me they've seen me in my not their notifications they've seen me in comments on their posts they've seen me reacting to their posts they've they've commented on my post they know who I am and what I'm about more or less so they're definitely going to at least say well most not everybody obviously some people are still going to be like no I'm too focused I don't have time for anything new but most people will actually take the time to look at my to, to look at whatever I have to offer and this is uh this is the fastest way to grow your no like trust on Facebook using a tool like this because it keeps you into control of who you're visiting and when you're visiting them and so that you can do you know every single day you visit like so me I've been visiting about 20 people every single day and so that way 20 to 25 as you can see right there and that makes make sure that I'm always visiting new people and every time they're seeing me more and more so that they grow that so my no like well I guess their no like trust factor for me grows and that's what they can do for you too so just go to activegroupusers.com and download this there's going to be a link to the here let's just put it up here so activegroupusers.com just go there go download it install it it's a chrome extension it'll show up up here in the top of your little or top of your browser it'll show up as a thing if it's not there just click on this and then put press the little uh the little pin here so it shows up here whenever you click it you'll be able to enter your um the groups that your target market congregates in so whatever groups you want like me I've got click c4 network here so whatever groups and then just let it do its thing and then you can schedule even you can have a schedule here so that every single day it does it because every time it scans and if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out but this is the best way you can grow your no like trust on Facebook the fastest and most organized way to do it all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions as always you can reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.